In this video we will see how to work with Microsoft Report Viva option and this is a built-in facility with that you get with Visual Studio.net and using this one simply you can build uh, reporting facilities so I'm going to call this one as uh, report demo it's a Windows application say so, okay all right the form is ready So all you need to do is go to reporting section under the toolbox and add Microsoft Report Viewer. There we go, we got this. We can place this one. Fine. And the next thing that we need to do is uh, we need a report to go inside this report preview area. So we can simply do that by right clicking on the solution name, go to add component and go to reporting section under categories and choose report and you can give any name that you like. I'm going to leave the default name which is report1 and yes we get this one now the next thing we need to do is we need to build a data source that means to this report who is going to supply the data just click on this link here in the data sources window add new data source select database select next we'll be using an access database so we're going to click on new connections And here it shows what type of a database that we're going to use Microsoft uh, Access Database. There are the files, other types as well. For example, SQL Server. For the time being, we are using Microsoft Access. So you have to browse and locate the file from here. You can see on the desktop, I have a folder called All Software, within which I have a folder called COPS. Let's open up this. And you can click on the test connection button and see whether it's working yes connection has succeeded next thing that you will be doing is you can say okay and you can see here the path has been taken and you can say next and because it's in a different place other than my project files it's asking whether it wants to move the file to the place where i want to work with my projects so i'm going to say yes There'll be a copy will be taken and here this is the connection string it's making up so finish it up and here it shows the database tables and i want all these things so i'm going to choose like that uh or else i'm going to just for the time being i'm going to work with customers so i'm not going to choose cmf right so i'm going to say finish soon after that you do that in the data sources area that you see the data set here if you tick like this you see that under the uh, table name you see all the fields now we need to design the table very simple that you need to do is to this uh, for your report you need to add a table from here just double click you'll get a table there and click there and you can reduce the size if you want now let's leave it like that and uh, to the right hand side let's add a few more columns we might need five columns like right next thing that we're going to do is there is a header section detail section and a footer section to the detail section you just drag and drop these fields that's it you will get the title automatically like that so a few more to go yeah telephone yeah and the geo mode and I'm going to select all these kind of things. Let's set the background color, some different color. Let's set it to something like a dark green color. And uh, font color, I'm going to set it to white. Yeah, and text alignment, I'm going to set it to center. And if you wish, 
you can make the text bold even font weight you set it to bold and if you like you can type that so you know name address telephone and do mount and wherever you want you can just position this as well um, for the time being I'm not going to do much right uh, to make it fit to the report with itself that will do enough and uh, we can have headings and all by move it down like this if you want and you can put a heading over there if you like uh, custom information okay I'm not going to do much formatting for this let's make bold text and let's center line that yeah that'll do enough right next thing that we need to do is we need to go to the forms section where we added the Microsoft report preview area now what you need to do is you can click on this mark here and it says choose report click on this drop down list box there we go which shows the report that we added it comes with the name of our project name itself report demo dot report choose that and you can choose the data sources if you want and just one data source is there it's been already set and say okay and uh, let's let's run this and see how it works there we go that gives us the report and you can see that report preview area is smaller we'll fix that uh, we can choose this one the report report viewer and you can set it to option is called doc and you can set it to center like that now if you run like this it will take up the full screen and in the full screen mode the report will be working like this so easy to like work like that and there are so many controls that you can work with like for example you can put it to full screen mode and check your reports like this as well and of course you can print it you can refresh you can search for values for example uh, Kevin you can search for values very easy as well as you can uh, save it to Excel as well as you can export it as PDF so hope you understood how to add uh, Microsoft report viewer and how to work with reports okay thanks for watching